And yeah. while the debate over those $2,000 stimulus checks continues in the Senate, the Treasury Department is sending out relief money this week, as soon as tomorrow. Our next guest voted no for the bump in the amount that Americans received, despite the ongoing push by President Donald Trump. And we bring that gentleman in, Republican Congressman Guy Reschenthaler of Pennsylvania. Congressman, thank you for joining us. Lauren, thanks for having me on. And please just call me Guy. Guy, you got it. Call me Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, so you you voted that you voted yes for the six hundred dollar checks, correct? Yes. Yeah, so I voted yes for the six hundred dollar check. And Lauren, I think it's really important to just take a step back. During the summer, myself and my colleagues voted for literally trillions of dollars in relief. And we just recently, a few days ago, voted for another COVID relief bill that was $900 billion. It included not only direct stimulus payments, it included increased amounts for unemployment compensation and included extra money for PPP, that very popular paycheck protection program, money to get vaccines distributed. It was a holistic bipartisan approach. But when it comes to this most recent bill, I think we have to take a, a, a moment, pause, and see how the last package plays out and make sure that when we move forward, we get help to people who actually need it. And, and Lauren, if I could just make yeah. two quick points. We've got to remember that as we move forward, debt and deficit, we need to tackle these issues because by definition, an economic definition, debt and deficit are nothing more than taxation on future Americans. That's going to slow our economic growth and our recovery. Yeah. Additionally, I still stand by the point that the strongest stimulus that we can give the American economy is to end the draconian lockdowns. Americans just want to get back to work. End these shutdowns, allow the economy to move forward. We can open our businesses while still taking precautions with this virus. Just let the American people get back to work. That will do more than anything I, to get stimulus to the American people. I hear that argument, and I hear your argument on the national debt, 27 trillion. That means we each owe $140,000, and we're just saddling our grandchildren with this debt. But we just heard from Senator Hawley, and he says the Senate has, I know you're in Congress, but he says the Senate has the votes for the $2,000 checks. So look, we might not do it now, but an, a Biden administration is going to increase the deficit by handing out more money to every single American. Your thoughts? It's very possible. Uh, it's very possible that Joe Biden blows out the deficit and, and the debt, of course. But what it does is it really hurts our economy. And as you said, it just straps future Americans with more debt. And as you look at a rising China, a growing Chinese GDP that is set to rival the United, Sta United States, we just can't have, we can't carry this much debt and still be competitive. We still need to be the financial center of the world. The dollar has to be the gold standard, so to speak, across the world. We can't weaken our economic position, especially as we uh, face a rising China. And one final question for you. You know, we're looking at the state of the Democratic Party, how it has changed. It has gone further left. And also the state and the tone of the Republican Party, because this push for the $2,000 stimulus checks, it reads very populist. President Trump is in many ways a populist president. How is this changing who and what the Republican Party is in the future? The parties are definitely shifting, but I think that if you see a Biden presidency, the Republican Party is going to continue to grow our tent. We're going to continue to grow our numbers because we're going to be able to stand in opposition to a social justice warrior party. The Democrat Party is the Democrat Party in name only. This is no longer JFK's Democrat Party. This is no longer the Democrat Party of your grandfather. This is the Democrat Party of extreme socialists, of Bernie Sanders types, and of people who are really uh, embracing the socialism uh, that, that we've been fighting, frankly, around the world in the, in the past 50-some uh, years. We're now fighting these ideas here on shore. So when it comes to uh, policy moving forward, when it comes to uh, holding China accountable, it's going to be the Republicans that will increase in numbers and will increase in influence because we will be the counter to a radical socialist agenda. Congressman, thank you very much for the time. Happy New Year. Thank you, Lauren. Happy New Year.